How to install WordPress using the WordPress Toolkit within cPanel. This is part two. So today we're going to talk about some of the features within the WordPress Toolkit. A few of the nice features you'll find here are things like setup. So you just set up your WordPress website and you're not sure how to change the password? Well, here it is. You can change the password from within the WordPress Toolkit within cPanel. Okay, so let's look at some of the other features. We have the file manager, which is a nice handy feature when you need to review the files within your website or WordPress installation. Let's click it. So file manager is pretty standard for cPanel. It allows you to wander through the directories and look at the different WordPress installations and their files. Great. So let's go ahead and return to the WordPress toolkit. You'll need to click the back button in order to return to the WordPress toolkit. So let's click the back button on our browser window. Okay, we're back in the WordPress toolkit. Let's uh, jump into the current WordPress installation. Now, let's go ahead and take a look see at the database. Wow, pretty advanced stuff, right? So this will allow us to do things like change the username, which we really don't have a need to do, or we can open the database within PHP MyAdmin. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. What's nice about the PHP MyAdmin is it does give you access to the different databases within your web hosting account. We'll discuss that a bit more in the future. Let's go back to the WordPress toolkit. Now, since we're in the WordPress toolkit, let's check for updates. You never know. Awesome. We're fully updated, so we don't have to update our plugins or WordPress at the moment. Let's go ahead and check the auto update settings. Now, the auto update settings are great if you want to set certain things to update automatically. Personally, I prefer not to allow WordPress to auto automatically update, so we'll leave that off. And I definitely don't want WordPress automatically updating my theme, so let's leave that off or no. But I only have a few uh, plugins installed within my WordPress website, so let's go ahead and turn plugins to update automatically. Click yes and OK. Now let's say we are building our new WordPress website and we'd like to put it into maintenance mode. Let's try it. So it'll take a moment for it to update into maintenance mode and then we'll go to the website and see what it looks like. All right, let's click that link. So that's what our website looks like in maintenance mode. So let's go ahead and take it out of maintenance mode and put it back into its live mode. Great. All right, so that covers all the features for this review, uh, part two. Uh, we'll talk about more features in the next.